Spang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are unboxing this new petrified fish. This is the Spiderco Capara. I actually got this, uh, I bought this from Ray from Everyday City Carry. I think it originally came from Seems Logical, which I'm happy that uh, his gift to Ray wound up benefiting him. In the future, which was recently, um, I got to purchase it off of him because he's, you know, putting together some money to make some big moves. And I'm happy I could have supported that. And I'm happy, you know, Seems Logical's gift wound up working out um, that way for Ray. So that's very awesome. Uh, so let's get into this knife. And if you guys don't know Ray from Everyday City Carry, check out his YouTube channel. This is, I'm not sure the name of it, but we already got a knife handy. All right. So, first off, we have blue micarta. Really good micarta. I like uh, Petrified Fish's micarta. Oh, man. Look at that front flipper. Now, that is how you do a front flipper. We haven't tried it yet, but... It has a mosaic pin inside of it. That's awesome. Look at that. I got some chef knives with mosaic pins like that inside the wood of their handles. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. Damn it, that's a good one. Oh, that front flipper works so good. See, when you do a front flipper right with the jimping and you take the jimping, the right kind of jimping, which this is, and bring it all the way around, it makes it so easy to front flip. And this thing is very, very smooth. I can even flip it like a regular knife just by, well, I guess it's not like a regular knife because it'd be back here, but I can just reach over and grab it. What a blade shape. <laughs> it's, ah, uh, kind of a sheep's foot it has a straight back that clips down but then we have belly here so somewhat of a sheep's foot blade very comfortable ergos uh deep carry clip regular spring clip seems like that'll work out uh pretty good it doesn't look like it's reversible liner lock easy access to the lock bar very easy to to uh, disengage nice early detent and it is complete fall shut action very very cool and because the front flipper is so easy to use man you can really manipulate this thing uh, very very easily the geometry it gets down pretty thin behind the edge it's not uh, the thinnest grind but the edge feels very thin plunge grind is they left just something to sharpen off. I like it. That's cool. Sorry, guys. And you can get up nice and tight to the edge, which is nice because of these neutral ergos. So this is going to work out good for cutting straps backwards or push cuts, pinch grips, all the good stuff. It feels almost loose. No play, though. No up and down. Really solid, but man, it's so smooth. It almost feels loosey-goosey. Like there's no friction. It just drops. I haven't oiled it or anything, obviously. The front flipper is just so... Oh, I bet you I could... Oh, yeah, you can easily reverse flick this one. I bet I could even do this one left-handed. Well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I can um, especially after oiling it, this thing's going to be stupid, stupid smooth. That mosaic pin, very interesting. Um, I mean, I guess it just adds a little bit of, uh, pop, a little bit of flair. We have a regular stop pin that is shouldered, uh, and it use, it works as the closing stop pin and the opening stop pin. Set and finish. Backspacers, also micarta. They did put a couple little jimpings inside the micarta. I love the crosscut section of the micarta. Um, you can see the the fibers running down the, the micarta. And this is not bad micarta. It's not like super premium micarta, but it's decent quality. 
And for the price that they're charging, it's really good, my Carta. What steel is this? I haven't even checked. K110. So K110 is D2. It's just uh, another country's version of D2. So D2, you know, it's a, a great mid-grade steel. So yes, we get it for a very affordable price because companies are able to get it for such a crazy cheap price. Now, the thing with D2 is that it is very easy for companies to heat treat. The thing is though, is that it was never really intended for large production style heat treating. So while it's easy for custom heat treaters to heat treat it, it can be very finicky and all over the board for production stuff. Um, so usually for production knives, it's edge retention is nowhere near as good as we see from like custom heat treaters, you know, that are doing one at a time anyways, but it's still a really good steel for what we pay. Um, it's, it's stain resistance. Isn't that good though? So it's not Technically, it's not technically a stainless. It's very close to a stainless, but it's technically not a stainless. But um, it, it's very close. As long as you take care of it, you'll be all right. Keep it dry, wipe it off, keep it oiled. Now, um, can we roll it? Yeah, we can roll it. Um, now, the thing is, is that it's edge retention, or sorry, sorry. It's edge retention and sharpening, so... It is technically a high carbide steel. It does have quite a bit of carbides in it. So that's why it actually does get pretty good edge retention. Um, and it has the ability when he's treated correctly to even have more edge retention than S30V. Now that's not usually what we see, but it can be more difficult for people to sharpen. So I always recommend use diamonds sharpen it with diamonds if you sharpen it with diamonds you, you'll have a lot easier time with it and i personally think it does best at a medium grit it is a tool steel um so i think uh medium to coarse is the best edges you're gonna put you will be able you know you should get the best edges in my opinion with a coarse to medium uh grit so i say 600 to 800 grit and, you know you can take it higher if you want um, but yeah, um, in my opinion, 600 grit does amazing on D2. It gets super sticky, very, very sharp, um, uh, lots of bite and it holds up really well around that, that grit. Um, when you polish it, uh, sometimes it, it loses its bite. And then even when it does have its bite, it seems like it doesn't take very long and it winds up getting slick and it loses that bite that you want in your edge. Now this edge, ooh, it's not the best edge. It has a burr. So this is not the best edge. You can almost hear it. You really shouldn't hear that. So it has a burr. I could probably strap it off. I actually have a little strap right here. You can actually see it. The burr where it's hitting. See if we can't knock it off. Either way, I'm going to wind up sharpening it. So that's not that big of a deal, but not the best factory edge. Um, now, the other knives that I tried from them uh, were great. The edges were just fine. So I'm not going to let that uh, reflect all their knives, you know, or anything like that. Sometimes, you know, it happens. It's interesting, these little jimpings they put up here at the spine. Um, I'm not sure if there's really a purpose. It doesn't really offer any traction or anything. So this jimping back here does give you a little bit of traction, though, for these pinch grips. Like I said, they did give you a little bit of jimping in the, the micarta. This micarta is going to wind up getting really dark eventually. But very cool, man. I, I'm, um, I'm happy with it. Extremely good front flipper. Uh, surprisingly good front flipper and the access to lock bar like I said they did cut it back a little bit and it's easy to get to and since the detent is so early it's always past it but anyways enough uh, jibber jabber I'll let you guys get out of here um, I do see we have t6s all the way around t8 pivot I'd rather see t8s all the way around but it is what it is. Not that big of a deal. Um, with little budget knives like this, 
I prefer to see T8s because it does kind of show that they're um, they're trying to make it as durable and long lasting as possible. Because T6s, man, they strip out so easily, and T8s, they just they're that little bit of difference massively changes how easy it is to take apart and put back together a knife. Um, T8s rarely strip out. T6s strip out all the time. And uh, that little bit of size difference, it makes all the difference in how easy it's going to be to take apart and also how many times you're going to be able to take it apart and put it back together. But in this case, I can't complain too much because they do send extra hardware. So can I really complain too much? No, I guess it can't because they do send extra hardware at least. So that's a cool thing. Um, I do always... Uh, enjoy seeing extra hardware in the box but anyways there you guys go i appreciate you guys watching love you guys peace